Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, those of you that teach robotics and you're in your class and your Lego EV3 kits for the students are just messed up, pieces everywhere and nothing looks like the way it did. Today it's gonna to be all about the inventory. I always do an inventory with my classes right around Christmas break. This video, I'm gonna show you how it's done and what it looks like. Stay with me. Okay, I do an inventory with my students on their LEGO EV3 Mindstorms kit for two reasons. Number one, when we come back from Christmas break, I want their kit to look like it did right before or right when school started. When they open it up and all those 541 pieces were all perfectly in their tray. It's kind of a starting over period and I just want them because I walk around and I see what their kits look like. It's a complete disaster. So I want them to start off the second part of our year with it looking wonderful. The second reason is they spend a lot of time wasting over there at the cabinets looking for pieces that they've dropped. You guys know what I'm talking about. Looking for pieces that they, you know, that would make up their kit. And it also allows me to get back pieces. I know they have extra pieces. And those pieces are, you know, ones we need to refill those drawers so that when other students need it, they can come and get it. So it's just a, it's a very um, helpful thing for not my, also myself, but for them to be able to have these pieces. And then I also have them clear their brick of every program that they had, you know, this first part of the year. So when they start the second part, everything is just clean, wiped, everything's brand new. So let me show you what I do for the inventory. Okay, so what I do is I take the piece map from your kit and I basically photocopy it. I photocopy it to 11 by 14. So there's the tray pieces and then those are the pieces that should be under the tray. So what the students do is they just cross off what they have and obviously give me back um, every, anything that's extra. So basically I just have them, you know, keep crossing, keep crossing. And then that is kind of like a shopping list. They will know what they have because they'll see an X over it. Um, Mr. Hino, what if they need something that you don't have? I usually will have them circle it. That tells me and it tells them it's some piece I have to find. So I'll look through, you know, kits and kits of extra pieces and hopefully find it by the time they're done. So let me come over to my desk. Here's what I do when they're completely done is I'll have that team. Um, I'm going to check six pieces. I'll check six pieces under their tray and six pieces in their tray. Um, obviously, I'm not going to check everything. It's just too overwhelming. And so if they have all six pieces there, like I might say, um, show me that you have two touch sensors. Check off that they have that. Show me that you have your your one inch, I'm sorry, your one 20 inch cable. And I'll just keep asking until, you know, we get those six pieces. And, you know, you guys can decide what you give them for a grade. But I have come to know over the years that you get, I get really strict with them on their grade. They have to get six out of six to get an exceeds or an A. And it drops. If they are missing one thing, it it does not go to a B, it drops. And the reason I drop that is I just want them to be serious about counting their pieces and making sure they have everything. Um, so they know right off the bat, I'm gonna drop their grade if they're missing one of those six pieces, just because I want them to take it seriously. I want them to realize how important it is that their kid is perfect, that I get back all my pieces that, you know, I can give out to other students instead of sitting in their kit as an extra piece. So let me uh, take you around my room and show you what this looks like as teams are doing their inventory.
Okay guys, so there you have it. That is the inventory I do, and I do that twice a year. I'll do that once right before Christmas break, and then I'll do that right as the school year is ending, so next year's students will have that perfect kit. So it's been working out really well because, you know, some students actually do their own inventory during the year. It's not a grade for me, but they just, it drives them nuts when they see pieces everywhere and they just want to be organized. So I, leave, I let them do that. So hopefully that can help you and your class and help you, um, you know, as you go into the brand new year, 2020. Wow, it's going to be 2020. Um, so they can start up the new year where it's perfect, where everybody has their pieces. They're not walking over going, I need this, I need this. You can kind of sit back, hopefully for a few weeks without somebody saying, I lost a piece, I need this, you know, replaced. So I don't know, you guys can let me know if you do this, how that works, okay? All right, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out.